the final from Bryant Denny Stadium, Texas 34, Alabama 24. This game was nothing short of electric. Two enormous brands, implications for the future of college football with Texas joining the SEC, and those Texas fans definitely let everybody in Bryant Denny Stadium know uh, they would be joining the SEC here in the near future and what they thought of that conference as a whole. Hats off to the Texas fans. I mean, th this game in itself was back and forth. Felt like we needed a fifth quarter to keep this thing going, just from a sheer fan's perspective. Like, I wanted to see them continue to play this game. Regardless, though, Texas got it done. A lot to unpack with this one. First, though, make sure you subscribe right here to the On3 YouTube channel. We talk college football every single day, live Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, 11 a.m. Eastern. Make sure you're locked in with us. We appreciate you in advance for that. Met a lot of y'all Texas faithful out here in Tuscaloosa. Y'all traveled incredibly well. Make sure you're locked in. Appreciate you in advance for that. If I'm a Texas Longhorn fan, I have a tremendous amount of pride in the way that my team attacked this kind of game. Because that was exactly what it was for Texas. They straight up attacked. They walked into the belly of the beast, and they said, we're not going to tippy-toe in. We're not going to kind of you know, move around this Alabama brand and kind of be timid. Like, no, they came in. They were dialing it up from the very first play. They were going quick, fast, and in a hurry. They were the ones asserting their will against Alabama. They were the ones that had them off balance. And so for Texas, I think you have to admire Steve Sarkeesian, have to admire the poise of this entire approach from the offensive to the defensive side. They were not leaving Tuscaloosa, Alabama, with any bullets left in the chamber. And that's, I think, why we saw the result that we did tonight, because they took matters into their own hands. I don't know that you see that from old Texas. And I'm not saying Texas is bad. We'll talk about that here in just a second. But I think old Texas, kind of the moment feels a little bit big. You see a little bit of immaturity. You see guys make mistakes that are self-imposed. And we didn't see that tonight. We saw an, a Texas team go up against a really talented Alabama team and just kind of look poised, look comfortable, execute the game plan, be able to eat a couple punches, and take care of business. And so again, this feels like a very new Texas operation to me. And what did we say the entirety of the week? Hey, Alabama, they're going to be physical. They're going to move the line of scrimmage on you. They're going to run the ball at you. And they did that to a degree, especially early. But credit Texas, they adjusted. And when you look at this box score, the rush numbers were, were fairly even. But Texas was the team with, with five sacks. Texas was the team at the end of the game holding the ball and finding ways to get first down and take that time off the clock. That was the Texas team. We expected that from Bama. And so for Steve Sarkeesian and Quinn Ewers, man, this has to just feel so validating. So validating because Steve Sarkeesian, remember what was being said about him? After the five and seven season, is he the right guy? All the punchlines about Texas being back or not back, and he's not, and they're never going to be back. Like all these things were being said. It's as much noise as as much noise is behind me from the people in the college football landscape having an opinion on Texas. Stayed the course, went to the portal. Quinn Ewers came back to his home state of Texas, believed that he'd get Texas back to where they are right now today, having just knocked off Alabama, one of the best teams in the country. That has to feel so validating that, hey, we stuck to the process. We trusted ourselves. We trusted what we're doing here. Went into one of the most difficult environments all of college football and got a dub in front of the entire country. That's validation, man. That's validation. So for Texas now looking forward, we're going to hear a lot of this. Texas is back. And that is well-deserved that you have that kind of shine, that kind of attention. But Texas, everybody in that building knows, I promise you, this is a huge step in the right direction. Tremendous step in the right direction. But this isn't the final destination. Like, they're happy to be Alabama. They're happy to make the statement they did with the eyes of the country upon them. College game day was here. Like, everybody was watching this football game. And this is a huge boost for the brand. I imagine it pays dividends on the recruiting trail. But they understand now, this is week two. So if they keep this thing going until week 10 and 11, like, okay, great. But if you trip up, insert whatever week you want to, then what does this game mean? So this is a tremendous building block. I think it's validation. I think it creates internal belief. I think it creates belief for what Steve Sarkeesian has done through the transfer portal, who they brought in here, like all that. It's, it's a ton of belief. And the physicality they had tonight, I think, shows it's a new Texas. But even so, they understand now. This is a great step in the right direction. It's a building block. But this building block is only as good as what they lay on top of it. So, Texas fans, get fired up. A lot of ball left to be played. But seeing what your quarterback did tonight, throwing for almost three and a half bills, three touchdowns, looking poised, slaying the dragon in Bryant Denny Stadium. Got to feel good about it. Appreciate y'all. We love y'all. Make sure you subscribe right here. Keep up with everything we're doing here and where we're headed next. We're going to keep this party rolling. We will see y'all next time.
Hey y'all, thanks so much for watching. Subscribe to the channel here to make sure you don't miss an episode of The Hard Count. Also be sure to check out other videos on the On3 YouTube channel.